Hi everyone, my name is Ben Sangroth and I'm an instructor with EdTech Teacher. So today I'm going to launch a video series on Apple Classroom, kind of showing you the ins and outs of Apple Classroom and how it can be effective in your iPad uh, classroom. So brief background, Apple Classroom was released last year with iOS 9.3. When it came out, it was really going to look awesome. I thought it was going to be great. Um, there was some problems with it though, in that it was tough to distribute out to students and out to the school iPads. Um, it was a little cumbersome, it didn't quite uh, flow right for IT directors, it was hard to get it pushed out, so it didn't really get used all that much. So with iOS 10.3 that came out in April and March of 2017, we now have Apple Classroom open for everybody. So Apple Classroom is now available on teacher iPads and student iPads. Uh, the key here is that you only need to put it onto teacher iPads though. And we're gonna go over that in detail as we go through the video series here. So what I'm gonna show you are some of the effective uses of Apple Classroom and how you can use it with your students. In this initial video, we're only gonna look at how to set up Apple Classroom and then add students to it. So that way we don't take too much time. And then in, and in videos moving forward, we're gonna look at all the other options that you get with Apple Classroom. It's a really cool app. I would think it would be, it's gonna be really great for teachers to be able to use this with their students. So let's go ahead and jump in. All right, so here we have our two iPads. On the left-hand side is gonna be my teacher iPad. So as the teacher, I am now going to use the Apple Classroom app to open up a class and start a class. On the right hand side is gonna be my student iPad. So the student iPad is the one that I'm going to then demo and control. So over here you can see um, on my iPad I have the Apple Classroom app. So I'm gonna go ahead and launch that. And when I launch the Classroom app, you can see I have no classes in this yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the big plus button there and it says create class. It wants me to name it, so I'm gonna name it EdTech Teacher and then give it a color code and then hit done. And just like that, I've got my first class, but I don't have any students yet. Now, if you were in a managed environment, this would all be done for you, where your, your admins could push out the students and the classes to your iPad. But this is where we're looking at the ability now to do this kind of free will on your own in your own classroom. So we're gonna go ahead and open up that class. And I have no students in there, so I wanna click the add students right in the middle. And you can see it now broadcasts the code out. So my students can now add this code to their Apple Classroom. But the trick is that you see I don't have the Apple Classroom app up on the student iPad because they don't need it. What they need to do is go into settings and underneath Bluetooth, you're gonna see it pop up here where Classroom is going to pop up. Now I didn't do anything, it just automatically sees that Classroom is being broadcast from another iPad and it pops up. So the student would go into settings and then click Classroom and they have a new class invitation over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click Add EdTech Teacher. It's gonna want that class code from my teacher iPad. So in this situation, I would broadcast this up to the screen um, so my students could see the code and add the class all at once. So I'm gonna type in that code and then hit add. And it's gonna say waiting for teacher because it's gonna pend until I accept Bob into my class. So as the teacher then, I'm gonna go over to the left-hand side. I'm gonna hit add. And now I've added Bob to my class. So you see he's registering as offline at first, but it doesn't take long and up he pops. So now I've added my first student to the class. Okay, so now over on the left-hand side, you can see I have Bob in my class. I can see that he's actually airplaying to something right now, which is what I'm doing. I'm displaying um, the iPad through AirPlay over here. You can see that he's also in the settings. So you get the settings icon on in the all feature, but then also over here, this is what's called a group. And so if I had more than one student in settings, they would show right here where it say settings and then two. And then if I was to click on that, it would show all the students in the settings app. So I'm not gonna do any more though for this. This is just the first introduction video to Apple Classroom. So showing you how to add students and then a little bit on the dashboard. So in video two, we're gonna go into some more details about how you can help uh, guide your students to various apps or web pages that you see fit. So look for, for video two, it should pop up at the end of this YouTube video. 
So thank you for watching. Check out edtechteacher.org. Follow me on Twitter at Mr. Underscore Sangrath for more videos, tutorials, blog posts. I'm always happy to help and reach out if you have any questions moving forward. Thanks, and I hope to see you in the next video.